This video will go over four kinds of advanced steps you can use in your tests, all located in the More Actions section. By default, Mabel does not record hovers, as they create a large number of steps in the test that would have to be run on each test execution. If you want to record them, click on Record Hovers. Note that the hovers will not appear in the trader until you perform a normal step like clicking on a link. The wait step is used to make Mabel stop running a test for a certain amount of time before continuing. The step has two options, wait and wait until. Normal wait steps simply make Mabel wait a given number of seconds before executing the next step. Wait until steps will make Mabel wait until an element on a page has loaded. You'll have to specify the part of the element that you want Mabel to wait for, and how long Mabel should wait before performing a wider search and auto heal attempt. Echo steps are used to print logs into the test's run output. Enter the message or variable you want to print in the output, and it will appear when the test runs. These can be used for messages about the intent behind steps and flows, and help debug tests by printing variable values at certain points. You can set the viewport size of the window at any point in the test by clicking Set Viewport and providing a width and height. You can do this multiple times in the same test. This can be used to test responsive designs and mobile versions of sites.